it. That's right. We are live, buddy. What's going on, Lindsay? In the house, back in the dojo. What's cracking? Oh, uh, I I feel like I was just here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys missed our Scrapping with Samurai episode, uh, we re we revisited the badass Green Beret fight from for Commando. Oh, yeah. uh, from Commando, excuse me. So make sure you guys check that video out. It's 18 and up, but fuck it. Everyone's an adult it's that great. watches our channel anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have little five-year-olds come up to me and go, are you a fat samurai guy? That's not going to happen. <laughs> it's all adults content here. Oh, that's yeah. right. We got in the house. That's right. YouTuber actress, Lindsay. Uh, again, welcome back. And we're going to have a, a doozy of a time today in this oh, yeah. special edition of a movie dojo episode. We are talking about villains turn heroes yes. that's right and uh we're going to talk about three films here uh, keep in mind there will be spoilers everybody watching thanks again for hanging out with us tonight as we get this going here hold on let me get the let me get the banners up on that yeah. good stuff let's see who's in the house here what is going down uh leviathan what's cracking we got jake hall in the house saying what's up to fat samurai guy and Lindsay. And uh, Heather in the house. How you doing, Heather? We got Samuel Stokes in the house. And we have Kevin in the house. What's going on, brother? Also saying hello to the special guest, Lindsay. That's right. And more will come in later. All right. So let's go ahead and have some fun getting into these three movies. So I know I know everybody watches like, what, what, I don't understand. Villains turn heroes. What? Right? What's going on? I don't understand this. <laughs> well, I came up with this idea. It just came out of nowhere. And I talked to Lindsay about it. And she was like, yeah, we're, 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 you know, let's go. You know, oh, she's yeah. all she's all in. <laughs> so we picked three movies mm -hmm. where we have a lead actor who's usually known. They've played, all three of these guys have played good guys once in a while. Oh, yeah. But uh, they're mostly known to play villains. Yes. But in these three pictures, they are they are the action hero lead. Yes, action <laughs> hero. Yes, <laughs> yes, action hero lead. For better or for worse. Uh, but I, I I I have a favorite out of all three. We're, we'll talk about it when we get to it, Lindsay. I do have mm -hmm. a favorite, and I I just couldn't stop smiling watching the whole. <laughs> B movie cheese action manliness fest. Oh yeah, that was uh, the movie we'll get to a little bit later. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, Savage Dawn came out in 1985, uh, directed by Simon Nuchtern. I, I, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I apologize. Uh, we have George Kennedy in here, who's not the first time you'll see. We'll be no, talking about him got, uh, he's tonight. Another one of these films. As yes. Well. Richard Lynch, uh, Karen Black, mm -hmm. uh, who's always fun, and uh, starring as the action hero lead, <laughs> Lance Hendrickson. Lance Hendrickson, uh, yes. Yes, and uh, his buddy from Stone Cold, William Forsythe, is also yeah. in this. <laughs> All right, plot synopsis. A vicious biker gang is intent on destroying a small town in Arizona, a war veteran Visiting an old friend and a few locals with nothing to lose goes to war with the gang's ruthless leader. You know, it's funny. Um, I didn't know William went as Bill early in his yeah, career. Yeah, neither did I. Because he, he just goes by William now, I guess. Yeah. He's yeah. gotten older, so he's like, uh, I'm William. I'm not good anymore. <laughs> yeah, so when he like shows up in the bar as the leader of the gang in the town, yeah. I was like, oh, shit, it's William. <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh yeah lance uh, what, what did what did you think of lance in this I mean, in this role i love lance Henriksen. i think he's a yeah. great actor he's a great character actor a great supporting role person um i love a lot of his movies uh pumpkin head is one of my favorite horror movies we love aliens you know oh, yeah. bishop all that stuff uh pit in the pendulum great movie that was a good uh, one yeah yeah. Very good. And uh, he's just, he's, he's, how can I say this? He's just not that physically imposing. He's definitely got the intensity. Yes, know? I think he's that's what saves it. definitely got the intensity. Yeah. But yeah. especially w during the fight scenes in this movie, it's just a little clunky. A little bit, yeah. A little bit clunky. You can tell he's, you know, it's not the regular thing he does. 
but he gave it his all so yeah i gotta, I gotta give him credit for that he oh he, yeah he never has half asses a, a a role no no <laughs> and he and i i agree with you that was a good call out the intensity mm-hmm. i think that's what kind of saves it and kind of oh, yeah. kind of you believe it oh yeah because he's going all in but he i mean i was not expecting well, first of all i did i when when lance's I didn't see a trailer to this. So when Lance's name okay. popped up in the credits, I was like, oh, he's the villain. <laughs> and he just rolls up in town as the good guy. I was like, what? <laughs> Lance is the hero? But uh, with a lot of the fight scenes, he was trying to, he was doing a little bit of his own version of martial arts. He was a doing bit. wrist locks. He, he would do wrist some locks. stances and stuff. Uh-huh. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The execution was a little sloppy. Little, little, little sloppy. Bit. Little sloppy. <laughs> Do you think if he was given more of this type of role, he would have perfected it later? Oh, or... I think so. Okay. But I, okay. I don't think this is the kind of role that that suits him the best. Because, you know, he's good at playing those just kind of quiet, menacing type of characters. Yeah. His eyes are so expressive, and he uses those all the time in every role that he does. And, I mean, we love them in Hard Target. You know, that's, oh. that's oh. our shit right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what? Deshaun, we may do, yes. maybe we'll get together again in the future and and talk about Hard Target. I don't oh, know. we we have to. We got to do it to. because I, Arnold Vosloo and Lance Henriksen. Yes, it's so good. And Wilford Brimley. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah for sure, for sure. Uh, Kevin says uh, they all look like cool movies. The poster for Savage Dawn is badass. It is. It is. Oh yeah. Oh, and you have some goodies, yes, right? I have my VHS copy of Savage Jean. I Show the loot. VHS Show the loot. It's a little misleading, I would say. Because <laughs> this this looks more like a futuristic it does. type of movie. Because we've yeah. got like super mecked out bikes and the cool helmets. And even the city in the background. Looks... And the font. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. But it, it says only one man can stop these savages. And that was the name of their, their biker gang was the savages. Yes, so. the savages, yes. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> we have three three savages show up and they are they're already starting they're messing with people at the gas station, just mm-hmm. being assholes. Oh yeah. And then and Lance's character has to put them in uh it put them in their place. <laughs> A lot of really good stunt work in this. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, some very solid stunt work for sure. Mm-hmm. Kind of puts them in their place, and they they don't forget him. Do you know not. when he first, when Lance first got to, uh, keep calling him Lance. Striker. <laughs> Striker. There you go. Look <laughs> at that name, Striker. Right. When Striker uh, first got into town, I was like, "Is the sheriff like <laughs> the villain?" <laughs> That's what I was... thought. Because he's he's in the back of the bar duking it out with people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, for it's, money. It's a really odd town. Very yeah. odd because it's they say the the mine had to be shut down because the lake dried up or the river dried up, so the town is slowly dying. Right. But there's a lot of people still there. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. they all dress very. Um, eccentrically Mm -hmm. i would say yeah yeah and you get all and there's there's older people there's younger people Mm -hmm. there's big buff dudes there's hot (laughs) chicks there's all (laughs) sorts of stuff going on in this town yes yes for sure but well you know what he was the deputy he was like the head oh yeah because the the sheriff was another guy who got punk deputy joe bob that was his. there you go deputy Deputy joe Joe bob Bob. (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i was like what's up with this guy but uh he's just he's just an he's just kind of a dick but he's not really the main villain no uh but throughout the film uh slowly more and more savages uh show up Mm -hmm. and they uh drag they drag younglings around they're trying to go on a date you know (laughs) they're cock blocking a little ride you know (laughs) and the reason lance is going to this town aqua dolce sweet water i think is what that Mm -hmm. means um it's because his old war buddy lives there with his son and daughter and his daughter's all grown up now plants one on lance henriksen right as the first thing she does was yeah and he's was like, like wow you've grown up <laughs> like, how old was like, she when you left this could you be have very to. awkward <laughs> yeah i was like what is going on but uh, yeah as soon as he arrives she's already <laughs> smooching the guy oh, you yeah. know um 
And Karen Black's character, she just wants to get out. She's just desperate she's, to so get like, out. I will, I will hook up with William Forsyth and be his crazy <laughs> biker chick if it gets me out of this goddamn town. Yeah, yeah. I will <laughs> fuck limping William yes. Forsyth. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, but uh, you know when our savages are doing their thing, mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, you know, not not full blast take over the town yet. No. Uh, our boy Lance kind of starts roughing them up, fighting back, uh, using snakes and whatever he can mm -hmm. get his hands on. But what's oh, funny yeah. is not only is this, uh, not, you know, we have the George Kennedy connection tonight because yes. he shows up in the other movie, <laughs> but we have another snake another death. Snake. Yes. <laughs> In another movie, uh, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Uh, but let's see here. But uh, so uh, now, was it the military was by, base was by, or that was the National Guard? It's the National Guard, okay. I believe. Okay. And I think this is supposed to be taking place in Texas. Okay. The, down in that area, the southwest and western Texas, I think, is where it's supposed to be. Right, right, place. right. I'm not sure exactly where they shot it, but a lot of desert landscapes, red rock, just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> it has to be the worst National Guard. Oh, they're terrible. They're ter Ever. There's two dudes, and they're really horny <laughs> and bored. <laughs> And they just have, you know, savages have their girls go over there. Oh, our car broke down. Can you help us? And, we'll and we don't have any money, but we'll pay yeah. you some way. We promise yeah, yeah. if you let us in. Yeah, and there's like three <laughs> of them, I think. And then, and then, like they get robbed and take took, you know, taken over. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, uh, the savages return back full force into full town force. <laughs> with tank and everything. Yes. And I think this was around the time where the movie for me was starting to get a little bit more fun. Oh yeah. Uh, I Once wanted the it. The tank to, comes out. It's the the finale fun. action is is enter is entertaining. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I wanted I wanted them to get crazier. Oh yeah. No, the I. It was definitely stretched out quite a bit that last yeah. section when they have the tank because. Lance Henriksen doesn't want any have anything to do with it. He's like, I'm not leading more people to their death. People right, that I love right. to their death. So he's he's like, I'm out. He shows up later because I guess he feels guilty. Right, um, right, right. But George Kennedy in his like motorcycle wheelchair <laughs> is throwing bombs and okay. stuff. <laughs> All right. I got I to gotta show a clip really quick. Uh, the name of this clip that I uh, labeled this video is Useless George. Yes. He, this, you know, when, when George Kennedy died, I actually cheered. Because yeah. I was like, <laughs> when he's his character just, he's, died. He's a, he's a burden at that point. They're like, yeah. we can't, we... <laughs> when oh, his man. character died, I actually cheered because I was like, oh my God, how bad of a shot are you? Like, oh my God, so the bad. tank's right in front of him. Oh, it's jammed. As soon as the tank moves, he misses. <laughs> and then after that, he tries to shoot the, the bald and guy. He misses. Miss, misses. And then the tank tries to shoot him. And right, he's yeah. right in front of the tank. And the and tank misses. misses. Oh my God! Here, All these people were fun. trained by the Empire, man. I, I think so. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's take a look at Useless George. Well, you just wait there. I got, I got a little surprise for you. Just wait right there. turns into the dummy <laughs> yes 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 that was the best part i was like what i was like oh my god kill him kill him kill him oh, oh my, my god. gosh night yeah. one says uh looks like a such a wholesome town to Very visit wholesome. yeah and the, the townspeople end up destroying more of the town than the savages do 
<laughs> yeah, it was it was it was almost like I, I had to ask the question, is the town worth saving? I yeah. <laughs> they they've point? got the, they've got the Tomcat bar, which looks kind of fun on certain yeah, yeah. days when they're having the tough guy contest. <laughs> Yeah, uh. but uh, yeah, useless George had to go, and th thankfully he did die. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like you said, we had some more uh, Lance Henriksen clunky mm -hmm. fighting. Uh, but uh, you know, at least we're getting a body count. Oh yeah. Now I I should have I should have grabbed a clip, but I didn't have time. Uh -huh. Was that oh what was his name the comedian? Oh uh. yes, it was Sam Kinison as the barber. Wow. Uh, yes. Okay. Because yes. they didn't even show his face. No, and I don't. But I heard know, his voice. I don't, think he's even I don't even think he's credited. No, no, I don't think he was big yet. Because it was oh, no. this is eighty five. So this is like right before he blew up. But yeah, and he was a he was a minister before yeah. he was a comedian. So he was putting the I was like, in the oh movie because he's talking about God and singing <laughs> yeah. Amazing Grace, and the guy's <laughs> just like, I have to kill you now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my God, it's Sam Kennison. He was like the barber. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Just such a random cameo. It's yeah. so crazy. <laughs> uh but we have our villains here. They're having fun hamming it up. Mm -hmm. Uh Forsyth doing his thing. Uh completely missing uh useless George here. Uh favorite stunt in the movie was this. Oh yeah. This was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if it was a female stunt person <laughs> that <laughs> was hanging on the, the, the right. turret of the tank. Karen Black, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, Karen, I hope you got uh, paid extra if that's really you right, right? there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great, great stunt right here. And there's definitely some fun carnage. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Lynch ended up getting ran out, crushed by the tank. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, what did you think of his character? <laughs> Just he corrupt so, minister he was, slash and mayor? And he was the mayor of the town. No, he was very yeah. sleazy because they showed little hints here and there that, you know, he was, he likes the younger girls, but he's the minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know the the savages catch him by sending one of their girls in there to to preoccupy him, and then right, they right. make him like almost turn rat, like turn against the town to try right. to get Lance Henriksen to to fall into their trap, but he does not fall for it. So he he, he gets what he deserves. Yeah, he gets that nice what he nice good little crushing. Oh yeah, you know, nice good little crushing there. <laughs> uh, this was a fun death. But I was a little disappointed with Forsyth's death. Yeah, uh, it, it was, was fun. Very quick. Yeah, yeah, it was very quick, and I, I get it. They couldn't have a long fight sequence because you got clunky a... Lance versus well, limping I'm, Forsyth. I'm wondering why his leg was like that because they don't show it get injured. I'm wondering no. if William Forsyth had some type of injury or something. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, You're like I write it know. in the script. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and show it just for fun. So, hurt. <laughs> yeah, so fun death, but he deserved full turret blast. Oh, yeah, explosion death, like blow him into a building across the street and yeah, then have that building dust. explode. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's what he did deserve that for sure. Now, this is where I want to know your opinion on this. Mm -hmm. I feel like Samuel enjoyed that. He said that was great. <laughs> oh, what are you drinking? What do you, what do you got there? This is my McGillicuddy's and Red Bull. It's my go-to. Oh, man, that sounds good. I haven't tried that. Um, like I have great. to drink water. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, but um, I f something felt off with the finale. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I feel... Like it was like a reshoot or something. It because was odd because it it's like we had a finale yeah, and the big the bad guy died, and then we have to have another finale with the secondary bad guy. If anything, those two guys should have switched. Like yeah. the 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 secondary bad guy. I don't remember what is was it Meat Sack? Was that his name? <laughs> Maybe. I think it was Forgot. Meat Sack. Yeah. Um, he should have had the, the the turret death, and then he should have battled, uh, Lance Henriksen should have battled William Forsythe up on that big container. That would have right. made more sense to me, because I'm like, 
I don't really care if this guy dies. Yeah, it's like the what, the main villain died, and then the mm-hmm. three minions die right after. That was weird. Was and I get weird. it. There was the I get it. There were the three original minions that yeah. started everything. Yeah, I he had more that. personal beef <clears throat> one on one with them. But but... It should have been taken care of before. Yeah, uh, definitely. Foresight. No, it just felt I agree so weird. With that. Like yeah. they drove, they even drove like far away to another area. <laughs> like yeah, it was it's like could have could have settled it in town. Oh, um, yeah. but it was I, very I mean, weird. It was a cool set piece, and I like yeah. when he hooked him up and he drug him up through the steel grates, and you don't get to see it, but I'm sure he got tore Shredded. up going through there. Right, right. So th- I mean that it. was a cool death, but I think if they would have just switched Meat Sack and Forsyth. Yeah, and Meat Sack, out of everyone in the whole movie, Meat Sack gave Lance, the uh, striker, the hardest fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I was kind of like, well, where did this come from? Well, and he <laughs> also seemed like the big bad guy because he was bigger and yeah. he had a very uh, like iconic look to him. Right, he right, was, right. His look was very his own, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. But it, 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 yeah. it, I'm glad it's there. I'm glad it's there, but it just felt off. But yeah. uh, this was this was still fucking great, though. <laughs> yes, rad dog, rad gotta dog, physics, rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love them dummy deaths. And yeah. Also, just a blonde Lance Henriksen is something we don't always see. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's go ahead and uh we're gonna go ahead and rate this some bitch mm-hmm. uh c is average on my channel uh what are you gonna give uh savage don i'm gonna give it a b maybe a b minus i don't know it's it's got a lot of fun stunts yeah crazy performances the cast is incredible for a movie like this mm-hmm. but parts of it do kind of drag on and especially that ending just seems so out of place it's yeah, like, I I docked it down a few for that, but it's it's a fun watch. I definitely yeah, recommend it's still, it. There's, <laughs> there's enough action in there to satisfy enough crazy moments. Oh yeah, and crazy <laughs> characters. But yeah, I'm with you. Uh, B Savage Dawn. That's right. Gets a B from the Samurai Guy. <laughs> uh, all right, let's keep it rocking and rolling here. We are now going to 1987 Steel Justice. That's right. Y'all see the shirt. Y'all see the shirt I'm wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Re- I'm, you know, representing Martin Cove, oh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. John Kreese there. Uh, you know, not just Cobra Kai, but I mean, he was he was a villain in Rambo First Blood Part Two. I mean, the oh, guy's yeah. always playing heavies, but not in this movie. Oh. <laughs> he is action hero they and one of the most. What's up? They're saying they can't hear me. Oh, they can't hear you. I can hear uh, you. Okay, I just hmm. want to make sure I'm close enough to the mic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. You sound good. Okay. Um, but uh, well, you know what? I'm I'm so loud. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, this is this cheesiest '80s goodness. Oh my! I I'm smiling this whole movie. Yeah. I mean, you may be different. I don't know. No, you may have hated it reminded it. me of so many other '80s action movies oh. that I love. I'm like, oh, that's very Commando. Oh, that's very Lethal Weapon. Yes. All that yes. kind of shit. Yeah. Yes, I, I just, I just, I couldn't, I adore this movie. <laughs> Steel Justice. So directed by Robert Boris. Uh, and there's a lot of familiar faces in this. Mm-hmm. Let me scroll down here. We got Ronnie Cox again. Yes. He's, he's part of this. A, yeah. a guy known to play villains. He's actually not a villain in this. No. Uh, but we have uh, Sella Ward in here, Bernie Casey uh just a lot a lot of familiar faces in here and especially for all you big trouble little china fans there's a lot like everybody's in here peter kwong al leong eric lee i'm sure i'm I'm pretty sure i saw james lou somewhere (laughs) (laughs) he's james lou's been in every movie ever made Mm. uh but yeah here we go plot synopsis steel is an ex-cop and vietnam vet who is determined to bring down kwan former south vietnamese general and now rich and powerful drug lord. Uh, short and sweet. So right in the beginning, we're we're introduced. Uh, we're, we're back in we're back in Nam. Nineteen seventy-five. That's right, back in Nam. Uh, our boy Steel is doing his thing, 
but he ends up getting, you know, the war is technically over, so they kind of go their separate ways, but they get betrayed by Quan here. Mm -hmm. And this beginning probably is one of the worst hero deaths <laughs> attempts yeah. ever. Uh, what, what, did you, what did you think about him and his partner uh, getting shot from behind but not dying? It looked, yeah, it well, it looked like he got shot in the butt. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. It and... did. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them. I was like, what is going on? Well, here? and also I was like, well, if you want... Well, because the general told the girl to kill them. Right. She shoots them in the butt yeah. and they yeah. fall down. And then he shoots her for not killing them. And then he doesn't kill them. <laughs> yeah. That makes no sense to me. I'm yeah, like, he just, just, just kill he, him. <laughs> yeah, he kills her for botching the job, but then he botches the job right yeah. afterwards. Well, I they are lying there. They are not moving. I guess they're dead now. Yeah. So I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Uh, but so uh, of course, you can't keep steel down. Mm -mm. He uh, uh, gets him and his friend back to the real world. Uh, as much as I absolutely love the movie, sorry, spoilers on my rating here. As much as I enjoyed this movie, um, I feel like a chunk of it was missing. We didn't see him as a cop. No, they just say he got fired. Yeah. Five years was, ago. We needed like some kind of quick flashback or something. Yeah. Because I was like, wait a minute. No, there, there was a lot. That, yeah, that, that kind of bugged me because when they brought that up, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I thought he was just, you know, bumming around and his friend was the one that was the cop. I didn't know they were partners in Nam and then partners on the police yeah. force too. Because they don't really go into that. They don't even like no. show you pictures no. or anything like that. So it was, no. was kind of odd. Yeah, because at first I was wondering why Ronnie Cox was on his ass. And I was like, wait a minute. They had a history? Like, what is going yeah. on? Because as soon as he gets back from the war, he's kind of John Rambo-esque where he's just a drifter. Yeah, you know, doing he's trying to get jobs, things yeah, like that. Getting into bar fights because this is a manly movie. Yes. Uh, he has a he has a he has a pet snake named Three Steps. Is yes. it Three Steps? Three Steps. Three Steps. Yes, mm -hmm. because if it bites you, you take three steps, you're dead. Yep. It's a powerful the, the venom well, is there. And there is a snake that looks like that that has very powerful venom, but they had the non-venomous one in the movie for good reason well yeah because because yeah. that that snake there's like a rhyme that goes goes with it because it's black red and yellow and if it if black touches red um oh, what, no 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 red touches black friend of jack okay black touches yellow kill a fellow that's how the rhyme goes or something. oh Cause shit because it's got those rings if it's black and yellow next to each other yeah poisonous but if okay it's black stay and away red, then it's fine so oh I, I think you have some more swag to show <laughs> yes, right i've got my vhs copy of steel justice look, here look at that cover you don't recruit john Steele, you unleash him yes that is yes. a great tagline the back <laughs> great tagline great tagline love it uh but we have our boy kwan here who is now uh you know kind of trying to basically ma you know masking himself as mm -hmm. a but uh, a you know, a positive figure, public figure. Yeah. But uh, behind the scenes, he's doing his drug dealing with the cast from Big Trouble Little China. They all yes. in there. <laughs> Everybody's in here. <laughs> and I, 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 is this the most dialogue Al Young and Peter Kwong has I had? I think maybe? so. They have quite a bit. Yeah, I was very surprised. I was like, look at these guys. They're getting a lot of dialogue. About time, right? Uh, but yeah, it's great seeing them. The Black Tiger Gang, right? Uh, but uh, earlier, uh, uh, our boy Steele's friend, you know, he mm -hmm. becomes cop and he kind of kind of stops, kind of halts their drug mm -hmm. business. So they're like, OK, we got to kill this motherfucker. Yep. And oh, man, they they come. They come. Yes, they do. Guns of blazing, man. And nobody's safe. Not even grandma. <laughs> Not even grandma. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. I thought I, had a, I thought I had a photo. <laughs> Hold on. I could have sworn I had a photo in here. Oh, I, I want to show the photo if I, get, if I have it here. Give me a I, second here. I think this movie would have been even more interesting if it was the grandma that he had to protect and not the daughter. <laughs> because yeah, she would have and, just uh, been, gonna... like, not taking his shit through the whole thing. 
<laughs> oh my god! Hold on, hold on. Oh, I could have sworn I had a, I had a. Uh, give me a second here. I was she's positive. Just this tiny oh, I got her. I got her. I got her. Hold on. Got it good. All right. So yeah, you know, it's been a while since uh, I watched a movie and and I seen uh, a nineteen year old casted in, as a ten year old girl. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a little uncomfortable at times. <laughs> like, she's clearly nineteen. Why yeah. is she acting like she's five? I don't know. What is happening? Like, yeah, I'm right there with you. I was like, oh god. Yeah. I was hoping she got killed, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're gonna have steel protect somebody. But uh, yeah, I had to show the photo there. But yeah, speaking of maybe the most badass grandma in movie history, maybe. Right. So they come in guns a blazing, completely obliterate dad. They completely go to the, they go to the kitchen, completely obliterate mom, mm. and then they go in gun, guns a blazing, guns on grandma, and this is what grandma does. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going down without a fight. You're I'm like, going to get a dig guys. in at least. Fuck you guys, but throw. Me I was like, I, I agree with you, Lindsay. I think uh, they made the wrong they made the wrong right? uh, character should live should here. Should have had grandma. That would have been so much better. <laughs> and uh, just for funsies. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. People oh, are just now getting God. here going, what is happening right, right? now? Uh, but yeah, I had, I had to show a clip of... <laughs> <laughs> everybody's dying i had to show a clip of uh the most badass grandma ever oh yeah uh so so obviously steel's like all right fuck this i gotta go after these guys man mm -hmm. and the cops and... are like you know he's he's breaking a lot of laws he's assaulted people and people have pressed charges on him he's stolen vehicles and weapons from the military yeah but they're like we can't arrest him because he's kind of doing our job right now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. You know, go out there and do your thing, John. Yeah. You know, and then uh, after you're done, come back to the forest. We got a, we got a spot for you, buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, with just, just uh, more examples of uh, how manly this movie is. John just shows up at a funeral <laughs> of his friend and just starts a fight. Just tackles. Immediately. Tackled. Yeah, it tackles Quan's son, and they have a martial arts fight. I was like, "Oh my god!" I was expecting him to stand on the side and be like, "You or Just something." Just mean no. him or something, but no, he he drops that bouquet of flowers and yeah. starts leaping over headstones. He yeah. just goes spear. Right after him. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we gotta we gotta talk about. So then he gets, of course, for what he did, he gets thrown into prison, and of course, the you know the Cox has to let him out to unleash him. Yes. But we got to talk about that amazing pr prison break. Yes, because they get two of their uh, Black Tiger guys arrested. Like they were, they were shooting that <coughs> building all drunk, so they could get arrested and be put in the cell with him, so that they could <laughs> finish him off. Yeah. But, come on, this is Steel. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> and after Steel like jobs them out, the other inmates in the cell were like impressed, and they're like, "Hey, man!" And then this happens. Take some, Go ahead. Take some. Good morning. <laughs> I was like, slowly, gro this movie's growing on me while I'm watching oh it. I'm like, God. okay. It's this is fucking so hilarious. Funny. It's so funny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then he puts on the dude's uniform that doesn't fit him. <laughs> and he goes and grabs Bernie Casey. And they're just they're just bullshitting and trading barbs back and forth. Mm -hmm. While people are still, other officers are walking around, handing him files, talking to yeah. him. Just yeah. oblivious to the situation. Yeah. It's it's just it's because he's John Steele. John Steele. Right. <laughs> but I was already dying, and then, yeah. then he knows, 
uh, he knows they're going to go for the girl. He knows the bad guys are going for the girl. Oh, this, I loved this part. This? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could show the whole thing. I know. But it was his ex-wife. That was her job, right? She did music she's, videos. She directs music videos. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's hanging out with the girl, you know, the 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 uh, the, the five 19-year-old girl <laughs> is hanging out. And then this happens. We get full oh. music video. Oh, it's so oh. Just... do the shoulder. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so we get a music video montage yeah. of John on his way there. The bad guys rolling up in cars. They're we get three this whole... black cars. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. We get the, we get this whole this <laughs> one more time. And of course, right that's right. Uh, <laughs> get, get, getting down there. Of course, you know, as soon as John shows up, the bad guys whip out guns and then it's chaos, yeah. right? Do you know what made that scene the greatest scene ever in movie history? What? If the bad guys posed as the male dancers. Oh, that would have been great. If all of a sudden <laughs> the, the dancers are just like whipping out, you so know. Al Young would be dancing. Yes. And then all of a sudden. They're just trying to get into frame like. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> greatest movie ever. If that would have happened. Oh, God. So oh. we have this scene. And then we get this. And then we get this fun shootout. This oh, my cool, God. Like a pretty intense back and forth shootout after that. Oh, yeah. And then, because this is John Steele, this is Steele Justice, we're yeah. going to crank up the manliness to 11. Oh, I he love this. He gets the poison scene. He gets yes. shot with a poison dart, and this is how he deals with it. Watch this, guys. door <laughs> <laughs> he's john steel i'm jump running up through I'm, there you I'm, gotta cut yeah. it out suck it spit it grab spit a it crate out. pan and yeah. just that's it solved i don't know yeah. if that would work in real life but it was it's it's amazing to watch it's amazing i was just like okay my joker smile is getting bigger while watching this movie right right <laughs> oh my god i was like this this is this is the greatest thing ever this is the greatest thing oh, ever yes oh let's keep it rocking and rolling here so basically the the rest of the movie is john being <laughs> unleashed mm -hmm. and um hold on let me get to the, here we go being unleashed and you know fucking with dudes interrogating them getting information mm -hmm. and then what a fun finale we had, oh man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do you want to talk about uh, after he, like, destroys everyone? I mean, you got the Gatling gun yes, vehicle. He, come, he comes in with the the APC-mounted minigun and is yes. just blasting away at everything. And once he gets off of the – once he jumps off of there, or they, they blow it up or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't use a lot of those weapons anymore. I was a little disappointed in that because I mean he's fully decked out, right? Like, right. Even more than Rambo, he's got you know the, <laughs> the bullets yeah. here and here yeah. and just everything. And he doesn't. Yeah. I would have util utilized a few more of those tools, but extended more body count. Oh yeah, it's all what would have been always. <laughs> it's, it's, that's always a fun <laughs> bonus for us. You know us. We're greedy. Oh, we yeah. want more. More body count, <laughs> but it was still entertaining what we got, and uh, oh, yeah. he even lots ended of, up killing. Um, lots of hand grenade play in this movie. We had a, like a western draw sequence too between mm -hmm. him and Joseph Campanella, who played Harry. Yes, we had a nice little western draw. Uh, draw, and Peter Kwan got bit by the snake. Yeah, and I love what as soon as he started walking, John Steele's hiding somewhere One. yelling. Yeah, two. two. And 
the guy's like, it's not real, it's a pet. Three. And the guy <laughs> drops dead right at three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 good stuff. It's good stuff. But yeah, let's show a little bit of a little bit of the clip of the finale. And of course, we gotta have, you know, the the the, the final showdown between, you know, him and Quan, of course. Oh yeah. I love the music in this movie. It's great. It's really I good. love it's the good soundtrack. 80s action score. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. My finger slipped there. Oops. Uh, oops. Uh, Another but yeah. funny thing that happens in that uh, in that finale is. He's got Seal Award, you know, hostage. And right, he's like, right. what are you going to oh. do? I've got your wife. And Martin Cove turns around and goes, ex-wife, and shoots her. <laughs> he and blows she goes her. flying back through the wall. <laughs> he, he blows her. I don't know. He, he was aiming this way, and somehow yeah. she ended up flying that way <laughs> through a wall. And I was like, did that just happen? That did just that just happened. happen? And he, I mean, he says he just hit her with like a, a, a less lethal round, you know, like, of, of like sand. A, a riot round yeah, or whatever. Sand but sand in it. But she had to have broken something. <laughs> Maybe some internal bleeding. She went through a wall. I know. <laughs> but I love how they just they just quickly solved the problem. Oh yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Good thing you have that vest on and I shot you with uh, what was it? It was full of sand in that mm. round there. I was like, oh my god! Uh, but yeah, uh, after that, yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I don't, I don't know how I forgot that. But uh, yeah, we give our, we finally get a more satisfying finale compared yes. to uh, Forsyth getting yeah. punked mm -hmm. uh, on the side there. Uh, but was there anything else we missed before we rate? Um, uh, I don't think so. Steel. I think. And we got some great one-liners in this. There, there were several. Like um, when he's in the bar and he's about to get arrested because they caused the big fight. He's like, "No, I, I, I'm different. I'm changed. I can hold my temper." And then he's like, "Like hell, I can!" And he just starts punching people again. Yeah, <laughs> we get a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> and I love how he he lands right next to his ex-wife who got beat up too, mm -hmm. and they're both just sitting there looking at each other. No, like, this, this movie has ah. a good sense of humor about yeah. it. There's, yeah. there's some funny stuff in here where they're actually trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, oh, we got the Kung Fu genius in the house. What's hey. going on, brother? I have a martial arts magazine with Martin Cove on the cover from the 80s. I'm pretty sure it was promising this turkey you know, based on how Probably. he was dressed. Yeah, he had quite the wardrobe in this movie. Oh, he's, yeah. He's got his, you know, military gear, but then he's got like a, a corduroy brown blazer. Yeah, and then he had a, a members only jacket, and then at oh. one point he's completely shirtless with a pink sweatshirt tied around his shoulders. Oh, pink because it's eighties. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, you have no shirt on. Why do you? Have it? it makes no sense. <laughs> oh, but what fun this mm. was! I mean, so the, po fun. the extracting the poison sequence was worth the price of admission. Oh my god, yes! The music video montage. <laughs> I mean, the big drum and little China cast in here. I mean, I just I couldn't stop smiling throughout this whole thing. No, no, the this, prison break, the cheese. Uh, is, what are you What are you giving Steel Justice? I give it an A. It's it was oh. I had such a good time watching this movie. I mean, probably an A minus. I would say just because of a few things here and there. I feel bad because I was gonna I was gonna give it a B plus, but fuck it, I'm giving it an A. Hey. <laughs> giving it an A. No, I, this would be such a fun movie to watch with like a group of people. Because oh there's yeah, just so much yeah. crazy shit, and and it's yeah it's, it's for very the genre. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the genre that it's representing, mm -hmm. it's an A. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, but um, I have to buy the Kino Lorber release now. Because I have yeah. to, because because I watched this on YouTube and it looked like shit. Yeah, I watched it so on VHS. I, it was decent quality. But, okay, it was decent. Um, but yeah, 
the Kino Sav- Lober is re-releasing it on Blu-ray. I got to buy they? it on Blu-ray. Yeah, I'll have to get it. The, the Savage it. Dawn on Tubi looked amazing because it was that really? Vinegar Syndrome remastering. Because oh. my VHS is horrible quality compared to that. Now, the Vinegar Syndrome uh, releases, are they just from their website? Because I went to Amazon and I I typed up Savage Dawn. You might Dawn. have to just go through their their website. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they go. I couldn't through find any it. Third party sellers, but I'm not sure. But yeah, Steel Justice uh, was absolutely amazing. I <laughs> had oh, so yes. much fun watching that movie. Uh, was, but yeah, let's keep fun. it rocking and rolling. We are in the '90s now. Yeah. 1990, Hired to Kill. That's right, starring our favorite villain actor <laughs> you know him from cobra that's mm-hmm. right mortal Kombat: annihilation lionheart lionheart brian thompson that's right and uh george kennedy uh, useless uh, george has yeah. returned again and oliver reed is in this this is directed by nico masterakis uh plot synopsis a fashion photographer and seven models travel to a south american island fortress uh, to do a fashion shoot. In reality, the photographer is a mercenary, and their job is to free an imprisoned rebel leader. Mm-hmm. When I saw the cover and I saw the title, the plot synopsis, I did not see coming. No, not at all. <laughs> I, like, I kind of throw that in there, like, what? Fashion models, what? Big ass, huge, gigantic Brian Thompson. Yes. That's <laughs> fashion designer. I was like, what? Uh, but but I, I knew we had a shot for an entertaining flick mm-hmm. because this is how they introduce our hero. <laughs> that's a way to start your movie, man. That, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you introduce your hero, man. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about the beginning and what what gets started. Yeah, there. I mean we're thrown right into it because we don't get any setup about what's going on in this country <coughs> beforehand. We just get introduced to our hero, and then he gets waking up, and they're like, "You're coming with us. We have a job for you." And he go and sits with George Kennedy, and, and they're like, "We're gonna throw a shit ton of money at you if you'll go do this crazy mission." We're right. going to have six girls who are going to pose as fashion models, and you're going to be the fashion designer, the homosexual yeah. fashion designer, <laughs> yeah. which comes into play later. Uh-huh. <laughs> which I was stunned. Yeah, me I too. I was like, wow, Brian went, Brian went all in here. Wow. Oh, yeah. With yeah. Oliver Reed, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And and he he doesn't want to do it, but he wants the money. And he re- he says that over and over again throughout the movie. I'm just here for the money. This is a job. We're just paid. We're here for a check. <laughs> right, right. And so and and throughout the movie, that's his arc where he does end up caring about more right. than the money towards but, towards the end. Yeah. Towards the end. And um, and then it's just my favorite part of the, one of my favorite parts of the movie. Look is, at this guy. Oh yeah, I Oliver Reed, man. Fantastic actor. <laughs> the stories. Oh my god. The behind the scenes stories from other actors and people that oh, work yeah. with him. It's no, like he, crazy. He, Oliver Reed comes from a generation of those uh, just completely drunken Shakespearean, <laughs> classically trained English actors, mm-hmm. and they. Uh, <laughs> but back to what you were saying i didn't mean to cut you off you oh no saying. you're fine no um so so he he accepts the job and one of my favorite parts of the movie is when they're getting their team members because mm-hmm. they're getting these badass chicks that are in prison or mental institutions or undercover under you know they're they're in the witness protection program because they're right. part of the ira mm-hmm. stuff like that it's it's, did you very did you have a favorite out of all of them? Man, I love the demolition redhead. She yes! was cool. With yes! the cigar and stuff. Yes! She was really cool. I liked her a lot. Yes. She was the yeah. best. Yeah, she was my favorite for <laughs> sure. She, she was definitely my favorite. But yeah, mm-hmm. Oliver Reed, man, the story, the stories is yeah. like I don't know what movie I was watching. But uh maybe it was behind the scenes of Gladiator or something mm-hmm. like that. But mm-hmm. but they were saying like he would like see his script and he would like barely look at it 
mm-hmm. and he would go drinking and get in an arm wrestling competition like yeah. that day. And then the next morning he'd show up and know all his lines. Oh yeah. No. Like like nothing. Like and they were they were worried. They were concerned, like, oh man, you know, he's been all drinking all night, getting into fights and stuff. He like didn't miss a beat. He's like one of those. It's like crazy. Been doing man. it for so long, man. Mm-hmm. Long, long time. But yeah, I agree. Uh, getting the team together was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just like... shooting at them and yelling through a bullhorn. <laughs> and the stuff was he like... was saying, man. Oh my god. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you think this is the most jacked Brian Thompson? I mean, this has to be prime I... Brian he's, Johnson. He's uh... very, he's very muscular. I don't know if he's as bulky. Thompson, I said Brian Johnson. Just, yeah. Thompson, yeah. That's ACDC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I I think he's more cut in this mm. movie than he is in any other ones. But there, I think in Cobra, he's a bit bulkier, isn't he? Yeah, maybe more bulk. Yeah. 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 And I think he's he a had... little he's a little bulkier in, in Lionheart too. Yeah, yeah. I mean when when you're wearing a suit and you can already see the muscles all, yeah, you know. Yeah, he's just like it's all pumping out front. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, uh, did not see this coming at all in terms of plot synopsis for a movie called Hired to Kill. But uh, yeah, we have our they, girls, yeah, uh, doing they, their they photo shoot. They are so good at going up and down that escalator. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was wondering how long this scene is going to go. Like, we're still going there because they go they're down going, and then they like, go up. And yeah, go we're down. still going. Oh, all right, we're God. still going. And then they, they like had another scene later, and they were still on the escalator. Yeah, just like, what <laughs> I was is like, happening? okay, yeah, exactly. What is happening? Uh, but yeah, they're there to kind of charm and distract mm-hmm. uh, Oliver Reed's character. Uh, they're trying to. Um, I had a photo of the guy. I don't know where he went, but they're trying to. They think they're there to break out the guy to who's going to start the revolution. Jose when Ferrer, you, yeah. right, and you find out from Mister Useless George here mm-hmm. uh, that. Actually, uh, uh, I almost said steel. <laughs> Actually, uh, let me, what's his name again? Let me find his name. Uh, Frank Ryan. Frank Ryan Frank was Ryan. sent there to to take him out. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, which he changes his mind on that because he fights. He finally finds a cause. That was yes, a big well, and that back cause and forth. was uh, um, Oliver Reed's girlfriend is like the most famous model in the country. So. He's like, you need to use her too. And they don't want to blow their cover. So they're like, all right. Well, she ends up being their inside contact. Mm-hmm. She's she's like a double agent kind of thing. And of course, in one of the most awkward and bizarre love scenes I've ever <laughs> seen in a movie, her and 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 Tim Ryan or whatever. Frank. Was, Frank Ryan. Yeah. It's two first names. Frank. I Ryan didn't really like that scene. Up. Nah, it was not good. <laughs> no, because it was kind of like uh, uh she wasn't sounded... fighting back later, but still. Yeah, it was I don't know. It just I don't know. It just just have them be horny and they fuck. Yeah, exactly. It, just, <laughs> it was so weird cuz it's like shots of them backlit, but they're not moving or saying anything or kissing or I'm like, are we just are you guys just laying on top of each other? Yeah. What are you, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. What well, are you doing? Classic Hollywood dry humping uh, yeah. is what we have here. Just you just like cut her clothes off with a knife and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, just well, you like, know, this this could have been hot if they well, both wanted it, but it was weird. Yeah, well, because they go from that where he's cutting her clothes off of her and it's yeah. a little forceful to, oh, we're backlit and the wind's blowing and there's soft music. I'm like, that like, no, does not go no, together. You failed. No, <laughs> you that, that's failed. probably my least favorite scene out of the whole Me movie. Me too. Because it looked like she wanted to hang out in the beginning. Like, she didn't want to go. So maybe she wanted some and like, there that's was, it. There was a Just mutual fuck. attraction there. there. There was an attraction there, but no. that, that love scene did not No. <laughs> Well, apparently, that one night of passion helped change his mind. I guess. I guess. But let's rewind <laughs> a little bit to the holy shit scene. Yes. So, um, you want to talk about that? Because I do have a photo of uh, Mr. Brian locking lips. Yeah. Well, because um, Oliver Reed and, and Ryan are in the room, and the girlfriend is in the room, the double agent. And Oliver Reed is trying to test him 
that he's really this homosexual fashion designer. So he does some awful things with his girlfriend, exposes yeah. her to try to tempt him. Good acting from her. Oh, yeah. And that scene, good. that's pretty She's, good. She, she was really good. And he he gets through that part. And <laughs> Oliver Reed still quite isn't buying it. Yeah. And they get really close. And all of a sudden, like one is grabbing the other. And they <laughs> He grabs his junk. He grabs his junk. <laughs> and, yeah. and they just, they go at it. Boom. And then, and then <laughs> I was like, wow, Brian. I did Brian, not expect just... this in this movie. I really no. didn't. <laughs> it's like, wow. I was like, man, he just, he went full on method actor here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he big time. Because, went... I mean, it's, it's not done, like, in a very, like, 80s stereotypical way. Yeah. It's actually, this part is actually treated is one of the yeah. better treated things in the film, I would he, well, say, he, a little bit. Well, he ended up, he after doing that, uh, you know, Oliver Reed's character got frustrated and mad. Yeah, He's yeah. like, fuck, no, I, thought a, I, I, think I thought I had him. Yeah, no, it's a great scene. Yeah, it's and he storms really cool out. Scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was not expecting uh, <laughs> Shao Kahn to be locking lips with the... <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, this, you know what? This worked. It but did. Thi- but that this did. didn't work. You are absolutely correct. I want <laughs> we. Uh, they should have focused on the other one, man. Uh, but uh, I was a little concerned. I was I was entertained with the film at at parts and of the you know I was having fun with it, mm-hmm. and there were some funny moments. But um, I was getting concerned because I was like, man, a lot of time has gone by and there's no action. Yeah. I was like, this mm-hmm. is, uh, I, I don't know. Of, there's a lot of filler in this movie. Yeah. The and then we finally start to get stuff. some, yeah. And then we finally start to get some action where they, you know, they make an agreement like, hey, let's shoot a, a scene. You know, let's get some photos in this area. But mm-hmm. really, they're trying to get ammunition and weapons from yeah. uh, the rebels. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, what you call Reed is very smart. His character is very smart. He's like, oh, take some men with you. They'll, mm-hmm. they'll be with you. And of course, the women are like, "Well, we got to kill the men." Yeah. I was not expecting the ex love interest Me Sheila to either. go, dude. But I mean, it does make sense. If yeah. You think, if you think about it, because through the whole thing, you know, she kind of want wants to get back with him, but he's all business. He's like, "No, you've lost your edge." Yeah, I'll find it. You're distracted. And That's right. He did say that. He kept on her about that, and she mm-hmm. ended up dead. Yeah, but uh, I was very surprised by that. I but I, I like it when movies surprise you that way. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> but with the finale, I think there was so much action, stunt work, and carnage in the finale. It made up. Oh yeah. For the the middle of really not a lot happening. Oh yeah, and that that location was great. That set mm-hmm. location was really cool. It really added to oh, yeah. all that all the explosions and the gunfire and everything. Yeah, the girls had the chance to shine, mm-hmm. uh, except for the one that, the man the one that betrayed them got fucked up. She did. <laughs> I was like, holy that was shit. A, that was another cool thing that they did that I really liked in this movie because the one girl is mute because she's so fucked up. Yeah. And she reads the girl's lips when she's on the phone, you know, going behind yeah. their back. And then mm-hmm. when she finally says something, it's to warn Ryan. She screams his name so That's that right. he doesn't get killed. Yeah, that was a good that but, was a good scene. Yeah. I mean this yeah. even though this is kind of a shitty eighties action movie with a lot of fun, yeah. There's some there's some better written parts than than the than average in yeah. this in this movie. I would but say. But each girl gets a chance to shine, and of mm-hmm. course, uh, our boy here he gets a chance to. <laughs> uh, the, the body count for this movie has to be pretty big. Oh yeah, it definitely. has to it has to be up there because there was mm-hmm. a lot of people uh, that got fucked up. And uh, again, uh, I was happy and satisfied with the finale because I was worried mm-hmm. because it was a long. I don't know. It was like thirty minutes. It was a that or whole, more. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. <laughs> but, you know, we did have some fun moments at the end with the finale, especially with our girl, our redhead. She got that cigar. I love it. <laughs> Dude, she's badass, She man. is badass. I love her. She didn't uh, take shit off of anybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was great. But I liked her attitude throughout the whole movie mm-hmm. too. She's just, you Me know, too. just 
She was a great character for sure. <laughs> and the baseball sequence that came out of nowhere with the one girl. She's Wait. like, did I ever tell you that I I played this oh, yeah. series? Like, and I sh- I was a shutout that's as right. a pitcher. I forgot she said she said that. Yeah, it's like, she threw the what? grenade. <laughs> okay, lady. <laughs> Her character I was kind of off and on with because yeah, she was she kind of a some... dick. Well, I mean, she she kind of picked up early on that that one chick just like wasn't with them because mm. they have the pool fight. Right, right, which was right. interesting. He grabs the one. He grabs her by the hair and like lifts her fully out of the pool. <laughs> I was like, "Damn! Like, stop acting like children." <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely a lot of fun stunts, uh, mm-hmm. explosions, everything you, that you come to come to crave for a movie uh, oh, within yeah. this within this genre. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and rate this some bitch. Uh, what are you gonna give? Hire to kill. I'm gonna give this one a B. Um, because there was a lot of stuff in the middle that just kind of drug for me. Yeah, you know, escalating, escalating, yes. <laughs> yeah. escalating escalators oh, yeah. sequence. But I, I love the ending. I loved, yeah. uh, you know, it's got Oliver Reed in it. It's got um, Jose Ferrer in it, who, who is this amazing actor, and he has like one scene, but he nails it. He has that little monologue. Mm-hmm. And I, I loved that, um, and it just. Just the crazy campiness of, of all the, uh, oh, we're fashion models and we have to learn how to walk the runway right and do all this stuff and, and gathering all the, they were like a suicide squad, you know, they mm-hmm. went and picked up all these awful people to go do this suicide mission. It, it was yeah. fun. So yeah, yeah. But I, well, I we're, give it a B. We're on the same page the whole night tonight. Uh, <laughs> Samurai guy gives hire to kill a B for a lot of bullets. That's right. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, I guess we're kind of three for three tonight. No bombs. We didn't no, hate any of these I, movies. Because I watched all of these, because uh, I'd seen um, Savage Dawn before. Um, but right. I, I rewatched all these today, and it's just been, it's been a great day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, for for my favorite of the three, mm. I got I to gotta go, I got to go steal justice, man. I do too. I got to go steal justice <laughs> for the, my favorite of the three, for sure. And I got to somehow get that Blu-ray. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, this was a blast. Hold on. Let me let me, let me me catch up with chat here. Oh, <laughs> got some more bots. Hold on. Let me get rid of these bots here. I hate those ones. <laughs> They're everywhere, aren't they? they I mean, are. everywhere. Oh, my goodness. It's like Stormtrooper's bad aim. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Shell Khan. Both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's hilarious that's funny oh that's <laughs> funny stuff uh but yeah uh great great night at the movies three for oh, three yes. imagine back in the day where we could go see all of these in the theater as like a oh, double feature awesome. man the awesome. good old days i wish we could do that now <laughs> uh but yeah this was a blast uh before we wrap it up is there anything you want to tell your fans and your followers uh, yeah, go follow me on uh, on here on YouTube. It's just my name, Lindsay Washburn. Just how it's spelled right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. And all those social media links are on my channel, too. And I just uh, I have a new video up where I found 56 VHS tapes Yes. in the mountains. I didn't find them in the mountains. It was in a town in the mountains. So, <laughs> But lots, lots of little little goodies in there. Copy that. I definitely got to check that out for sure because your VHS collection's insane. <laughs> it's insane in the membrane. Well, we got to do more of this for sure, Lindsay. Definitely. And uh, you know, hey, hard target. Let's 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 collab so down off the air target. or something. Yes. We got to do something because I officially haven't rated it here. I've talked about it on other channels. Yeah. But I haven't I... officially reviewed it here. Mm-hmm. So that might be. I think we're gonna have to do that. Uh, oh, definitely. Me and you for the future so everybody watching thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight uh check out these movies uh steel justice we found on youtube uh mm-hmm. savage john and hired to kill are on tubi and they're so in, they're really good um good condition on tubi yes on tubi they're like they super great. remastered uh but yeah enjoy the fun thanks again for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to Lindsay and myself you guys rock we're gonna keep it rocking keeping it rolling And uh, one more time, just for fun.
<laughs> All right, guys. Don't go anywhere, Lindsay. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>